What if I told you that in a certain hospital, the job of pediatric nurses wasn't just to take care of children, but also to help kill them? Sounds outlandish, crazy, like something out of a horror film, right? Actually, it could be happening at a hospital near you. Take the example of Sandra Rojas, a pediatric nurse of nearly 20 years. From the moment Sandra walked into a local children's home at 17, she knew that her calling was to be a pediatric nurse. Sandra loves to see the smiles on children's faces when they see her. She loves to make them comfortable, to make them pain-free, and to make their lives just a little easier. For 18 years, Sandra worked as a pediatric nurse at the Winnebago County Health Department in Rockford, Illinois. The children and their parents loved her, and she loved them. Sandra's outstanding performance earned her many awards for her professionalism, care, and commitment to improving her patients' lives. In 2015, though, things began to change in Winnebago County. A new public health administrator decided to merge Sandra's pediatric clinic with the Women's Health Department. What this meant is that all nurses, even pediatric nurses like Sandra, had to be willing to provide abortion referrals and abortion-inducing drugs to pregnant mothers. In other words, Sandra, who dedicated her life to saving the lives of children, was told that she may have to help end them. This left Sandra with two choices, violate her religious beliefs or lose her job. Sandra had performed every other medical procedure asked of her, but this one Sandra could never do. She could never refer for an abortion. There were other people at the hospital who would, but Sandra could not violate her Hippocratic oath to do no harm. It would go against everything she believed, everything she stood for. It would be the opposite of her calling. And for this, Sandra lost her job. She lost her income, her health insurance, and her ability to support her four children. She could no longer afford her oldest son's college tuition, forcing him to leave school. She could no longer help her daughter pay for her children's education. It might shock you that in America, hospitals try to force their employees to take the lives of their patients, who they've committed to protect. But that's what happened to Sandra and what's happening to many others. Even in Illinois, which has a law that prohibits hospitals from punishing employees who refuse to perform abortions on moral grounds, Sandra wasn't safe. She still had to file a lawsuit. To protect their freedoms, healthcare professionals like Sandra must turn to organizations like Alliance Defending Freedom and their allied attorneys for help. ADF is dedicated to defending those who protect life, ensuring that they never have to violate their convictions to earn a living and serve patients as healthcare professionals. Sandra wants other healthcare professionals to be free to live out their beliefs without losing their jobs. She is standing for that right, and so is ADF. Many states recognize conscience protections in the healthcare professions, but many organizations that provide abortions do not recognize them. That's why there will be many more Sandras, nurses who are told that they can't save lives unless they are willing to end them as well. It should be the stuff of horror films, but unfortunately, in America, it's all too real. Pro-life medical professionals like Sandra shouldn't be forced to violate their conscience to keep their jobs. Patients have more choices and better experiences when healthcare providers can practice medicine consistent with their ethical and religious convictions. 